Hey guys, Chris Dick. This is the uh, second part in our series in setting up Hadoop. And um, this part is going to be talking about uh, installing SSH, uh, in particular passwordless SSH. Uh, something that becomes very helpful as you're installing Hadoop. Uh, it'll ask you for lots of passwords and uh, it will be forever asking you for passwords if you don't um, turn it off. So. Um, <clears throat> let's log into a terminal session and we'll get started. The first part of installing uh, the passwordless SSH is that we are going to uh, install uh, OpenSSH server. <clears throat> and it's a very simple command. We'll just uh, pass that through right there. Enter our password and move forward. We push oh, yes to that. All right, so there's a few stages that we're going to do, and I'm just going to talk about them while we're uh, waiting for this to install. Um, as you can see, there's this other command below here. You can feel free to use that one. That just um, answers yes to all the questions it may have. Uh, so you can choose to do that if you like. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And this command here, as I mentioned before, uh, just sort of automatically fills in the password for you. So in the process, of uh, setting up a user, let's call it setup a Hadoop user. So it's more like a, it's a dedicated Hadoop user. So there are times, however, um, it ha it'll happen a lot more in reality. But for what we're doing, we're just using one user in this. Um, but uh, in a commercial setting, you'd have many users perhaps. Uh, and what we have as well, we're going to set up a user group called Hadoop uh, as, uh, in addition. So there's a couple stages that we're going to go through. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just check on our progress. Looks like we're ready. Okay, first step, we're going to create this Hadoop group. Okay, that's done. Very quick commands. The next one creates our uh, Hadoop user and we're calling that HD user okay from this point it's going to ask us for what's the user's password I'm going to enter that it will be HD user okay HD user there we go Gotta learn how to type sometimes full name we're going to leave that blank leave everything blank here uh, unless you truly need to have it uh, filled in I'm saying this information is correct we're done there. Okay, next stage. Now, you'll see there's two commands that you could run. This one here will uh, uh, set up the user without asking you any of those dirty questions. Uh, otherwise, we just move on and we're going to add our HD user to the pseudo group as well. Okay, we'll do that. Done very quickly. Now, the next thing we are going to set up. Uh, we're going to start using our HD user. Remember my password is HD user. Okay, we're in. All right. We're in the home stretch for setting up our SSH here. Okay. Password, or uh, so we paste that in. Now this, this, this command here is going to generate our key files here. It's a, it's a RSA key file that's going to be in our SSH folder. And I'm going to show you what those folders looks like after we do these commands. Um, when we run this, it's going to ask us what's the name of the file. And as you can see, it's putting it in the home HD user dot SSH uh, and then ID underscore RSA is the file name. The file name will have an extension of dot pub, by the way. We're going to keep the default file name and move on. Okay. Now, in this, uh, in this file here, the script file, um, I can run two things. This is the old way of doing it, okay? Uh, what this will do here is it's going to copy in this file. Remember, that's what was generated here with the key gen, okay? It's going to copy the contents of this file into the authorized keys file. That file doesn't exist yet, but once I copy it in, it will become... Uh, an existing file. The new way, however, of doing this um, is to do the copy ID command. All right, 
And I seem to think that it works just a little better. Uh, it, it, I don't have as many issues with it, so um, we'll just uh, run with it and we should be all right. Okay, so our uh, username is hduser at localhost. Remember, localhost is just the name of your computer. So if you choose to use uh, Ubuntu instead of localhost, uh, that can happen too. You may be working with multiple nodes, and instead of localhost, you're going to be uh, SSHing into um, another computer. Okay, so let's do that. We answer yes to this question. Okay. HD user done. Okay, we are uh, we are still using <laughs> HD user, but uh, we can now SSH to localhost, and it shouldn't be asking us for passwords or anything like that. Okay. Now, um, the next step that I do is I usually will run a re reboot. So if you type sudo reboot. You'll, uh, you'll be able to just reboot and, and get in. But for our demonstrations, again, I uh, always set a stop point. And uh, one thing I'm going to do just very quickly is log out. And just to show you what those uh, SSH folders look like as well. I almost forgot that. Okay. So here's our new user. <coughs> And we type HD user, and then we are in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend all my time uh, working in the HD user rather than uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I'm going to use Ubuntu just for straight up administrative uh, um, tasks. Okay, so we're up. Now I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping here because I don't like all these extra things hanging around here. So we're going to delete that. Get rid of these things, pull up our file manager, and then one other thing, I'm going to get a terminal window by doing Control-Alt-T. Okay. Now, remember, we can do Control-H to show all of our, our uh, hidden files. These are the files that we just created. Okay, so if we look in Authorized Keys, this file has the, um, the RSA key that we just put in. This was the pub file that we created. <clears throat> Whoops, it's bringing. All right, well, it's up and I'm still going to show you what it is, but uh, here's the file right there. So if you remember, this is the same information that was in our authorized keys file. So uh, that is it. There we go. Okay. Well, we didn't have to do the GE edit. We'll just back up on that one. All right, guys. So that is it for this uh, demonstration. I'm going to wrap up by locking this uh, terminal session to my taskbar on my launch pad. I'm going to shut down my session here, take a snapshot, and say goodbye. All right, we're almost ready. Here we are. Okay, take a snapshot. I'm going to say SSH installed. Excellent. And it should say SSH installed right there. We're looking snappy, guys. All right. So uh, that's it for this video. Please remember to like and share. Uh, really happy uh, seeing comments and, uh, and, and likes and shares on this. So uh, keep it coming. Uh, we'll catch you in the next set of videos. Thanks a lot, guys.